Yo, what's up everyone? Soul here again with for another Summoner's War video and uh, this time uh, I'm doing Giants B10 with just farmable monsters, you know, and uh, you know, the last time I created a Giants B10 video, it's, uh, well, I use farmable monsters, but uh, well, almost all of them are farmable except for Akashis because, uh, well, I just... I got a cast from the uh, Hall of Heroes, and it's probably not going to happen again. So <laughs> it's she's not vulnerable. And uh, but if if you, uh, if you guys happen to have a cast, man, uh, you should six star her for this uh, for Giants B10 because she's she's definitely worth it. And um, if you don't have a cast though, well. Um, Aman can be a good uh, substitute then well and the, the the biggest problem with this team is um, survival until you get to the boss stage because uh, the biggest threat here obviously are the crystals and as you can see my Shannon uh, she looks like she's gonna die any minute because uh, she has very low HP so if you want this you know you, you want to Giants auto runs to be more consistent using this team. You, you need to uh, six star Shannon, you know. Um, my Armin, by the way, is on the violent energy. So <laughs> you see, you see him uh, going crazy with the violent box. So um, he, he's definitely uh, helping out with survival. So. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if it's not for his uh, violent box, uh, Shannon's probably dead now, so... Uh, if you don't have violent runes for him, though, um, that, that's gonna be a problem. You, you need to... S you really need to six-star Shannon, and um, probably uh, Amon too, so he can... He can heal more with his passive. Because as you can see, he, can, he, only, he only heals for like 2,000 whatever, you know. <laughs> so, Bernard doesn't need to be six. He's tanky enough to survive um, the whole dungeon. So, Light Inogami um, definitely needs six stars because uh, uh, he... he uh, He's, he's, he's rather squishy as well, so... Veromos on the other hand, well... Veromos is Veromos, so... <laughs> uh, is there something that can be an alternate, alternative to Veromos? Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> just get Veromos, guys. Uh, <laughs> because he, he's, he is that good, so... Because, you know, um, it's not well. Technically, it's not fully farmable because the some of the fusion materials are not fully really farmable. You know, in the process of uh, fusing the Ramos, like uh, fire beast hunter, um, fire. Uh, what is that? Living armor. Yeah, it's one of the uh, fusion materials. Uh, the, they're not farmable, so uh, it can be a pain uh, to get uh, the Ramos. Yeah, okay, here's the problem in, in this stage. The, um, you get, you have less dots, because uh, I don't have, I didn't bring a Kasis with me. You, you, you only uh, rely on the Ramos dots. And also, you need to have as much accuracy as possible for, uh, for Bernard, for Light Inugami, Peradion, and um, Shannon. You need to land Bernard and uh, Shannon's debuffs so that you get less damage and you need to have as much accuracy as possible for Billy D and so you can remove debuffs like that, you know. So 
uh, it's a lot of work but uh, once you can auto times b10 man it's uh, it's very uh, fulfilling it's very you know <laughs> uh, you can just uh, relax let the <laughs> let the auto uh, do its thing and uh, just farm runes, you know, just farm the best runes from this stage. So, and he's dead. <laughs> so this is a good alternative team uh, if you if you don't have a Cassis. Mm. So let's see what we get. Um. sell that one there's no point anyway um, okay <laughs> um, let's see I'm going to use my uh, three mystical skulls here and one dark light and darkness skull here so okay last time last time that I summoned a mystical scroll I use uh, you know I, I, I summoned a couple of unknown skulls first so this time, though, I mean, you know, I'm gonna summon my social, my uh, you know, social summons. So, uh, I'm gonna summon my social summons first. Okay. Um. Uh, I probably don't have uh, enough. Make some space first. So, let's see. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. But this time, I'm gonna summon my light and darkness call first. <laughs> okay. Here it goes. Ah, uh, three star. I don't know. I don't know what to say. He's the best uh, Grim Reaper, but uh, he's probably not uh, that good. Okay, I'll take it. Anyway, let's uh, let's use the, uh, the three mystical skulls that I got here. Uh, okay, oh, whatever. Oh well. Um, another father. Oh, um, it's it's fine. Uh, let me check my uh, my new toy, Light Grim Reaper. I'll take it. He's he's good. He's, I think he can be a good uh, um, CC machine in the uh, Tried Up Ascension, but. That's about it. Yeah, he has two AOEs. He's, he's pretty cool. Yeah, this one is very good though. Very good stun, stun uh, um, skill. So also this decreases their defense. Oh, that, that's nice. But um, you probably okay. Um, it's very slow though. 90 speed, well, um, it's very slow, so 
probably has has very high attack though so um, but uh, it's not gonna shine as a damage dealer because well um, because of his uh, his it's, it's very slow. Um, so despair, probably speed, HP, accuracy. Just so you can land the the stuns and the defense debuff. You know. Yeah, it's just a, 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 a CC machine. So anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching guys and uh, hope to see you guys in uh, the next video. Bye.